Hey everyone, Presi Day here. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering part three of my series of maximizing your crypto profits. And uh, this is actually going to be a very important one, in my opinion, because there's one thing searching for gains and finding all the tools to make profits. But you also need to have the right tools to prevent losses and to mitigate getting wrecked. I think that's very important and it's something generally people realize too late. Uh, it's something people realize after it's happened and then only after the lesson is learned the hard way, they finally make some changes. So hopefully this video helps you make those changes before uh, any wrecked things happen to you. So what I'm going to be covering is D uh, DeFi, which is the first antivirus of crypto, basically. And I think this is super important to use. I use it all the time personally across my wallets to stay safe. I think uh, you should as well. So let's just cover the homepage to start off with before we get into all the various tools they have. So on the homepage, you can see uh, they have the wallet tracking, which is actually also really useful uh, since I'm sure a lot of you trade across all kind of networks. You can see uh, there are 52 networks which they uh, pick up uh, where you can input your wallet. So you can actually find some funds you maybe you had on a wallet lying around that you didn't realize you had. This has happened to me a few times because, you know, trading so many coins on all different chains, you bind, you're bound to forget something somewhere. So this is really cool tool to help you find that. Um, so that's just their portfolio, which is really nice to use. So let's jump to the most important thing uh, and the most important tool they have that I want to cover, and that is their shield. So once you connect your wallet to their website and uh, go to shield, it will scan your wallet and it will scan contracts that you've interacted with, that you've given permissions to, and it will pop up with everything that is risky that it recommends that you revoke. That is revoking permissions you've given to those specific contracts. So you can see here, my total risk exposure is $12,000. Yes, in the wallet I only have 600, but Based on what I've approved in this wallet, as you can see, USDT was approved to spend 12,100. So the owner of this contract could theoretically go and take that money from my account if I had that in my account. So there's 15 contracts here that are at risk that I've uh, approved. So what you want to do then is simply click on revoke. You're going to have to pay the gas fee for the contract interaction, of course. Just click on revoke. Uh, let me go to uh here in mainnet and approve done so now it's going to revoke that permission that i previously gave to the smart contract you can see a, uh it tells you what the issue exactly is uh which this one is transparent upgradable proxy this contract can be upgraded changing its functionality so you can see my transaction now is approved so high risk contract was revoked so this is what you'll want to do uh for all your ones where you have this high risk and i mean if um, there's some that are medium risk that you don't really need to do anything with i personally just in case do it obviously if you don't want to spend the gas fees and don't but this is definitely something you want to do uh just to stay safe in the crypto world you know how many scammers there are you know how many ruggers there are so it's better to do this and stay safe and also what's really cool it tells you exactly what the issue is uh that the risk is about for example this one is unverified source code the contracts code has not been publicly verified then we can see here this one says unprotected ether withdrawal some ether in this contract may be vulnerable to unwarranted withdrawals so that would affect your ethereum this one has a token drain vulnerability where funds in this contract may be vulnerable to being drained by its owner through an approval exploit and uh, it gives you exploit examples which you can read up on which are um, interesting. Also, this one, the owner is able to blacklist wallets. And it gives other examples with Squid Game and Valentine Floki, which you can check out. So it's really awesome. It tells you exactly all you need to know. So you can also learn about what kind of issues to look out for when uh, approving contracts in your wallet. So next up that uh, I want to show you guys, I think I've pretty much covered the essentials of this. Simply connect your wallet, scan and make sure that your account is safe. Anyways, under scanner, here you can scan any smart contract, token or NFT, and it gives you an in-depth analysis. So you can check it out before you decide 
to invest in it. You can see how many contracts have been scanned here already. 14 million issues found, risk tokens detected, and uh, this is uh, amount of exploits in crypto, which is an insane number. So here's recent threats that they found, uh, recently scanned, and the most scanned contracts. So if you click on one of their, let's say recently scanned, was this um, Pepe Rewards token. So let's check this out. So funds sent to this contract can never be withdrawn. Uh, locked Ethereum, recently deployed uh, contract. So that gives it medium risk. And a large amount of this token can be minted by a private wallet or contract. So it's telling you the um, main risk with the tokens. It also tells you the top 10 holders. And here it tells you uh, what's all good with it. So you can see there's a lot of things that are good with it. So overall, these are things you need to be careful with the locked other being the high risk item. So let's have a look at another one uh, just to see uh, like a really bad one, for example, like the this rave coin. So here looks really bad. So a fee is charged upon transferring the token up to 100%. This is also mintable. There's a transfer limit and retrievable ownership. So this is something you want to avoid. Also, if you look at top 10 holders here, you can see there's a wallet holding almost 70% of it, which is really not a good thing. Owner actually owns that much. So that's very not pro. So that's something to avoid. So it's a really, really useful tool to have. They also have a wrecked database where you can see and learn about previous exploits and it will really help you on how to avoid them. So you can see here in the wrecked database how much has been uh, exploited, which is mind blowing number. You can see what's been the most wrecked ones this month, Juice Finance, Swap Room, and Ovix, around 10 million between all of them. You can see the total uh, biggest ones, obviously Terra was 40 million. You can go into details, read a summary of the uh, involved contract addresses, and uh, tells you about what exactly happened so you can learn about that and it tells you also the date it happened even it tells you the silk road exploit from 2012 you can also read about exactly what happened there and it tells you also how many funds you can see your funds recovered and uh, there's genesis bitconnect <laughs> is there it tells you what happened 2 billion wrecked 56 million only recovered and uh, it's really useful to to learn all about this also what they have, which is really awesome, is uh, you can search for yields on their platform. So you can search across all blockchains to see what is giving really good yields at the moment. Top stablecoin yields, which is what most people look for. You can see on Alpaca Finance at the moment, it's around 40% uh, for BUSD. USDT on WePiggy, 36%. Of course, I'm not advising you guys to try yield farming. I personally avoid that at all costs. I don't trust it and... It's just far too risky. I hear about so many exploits. I never do any sort of yield farming. So just keep that in mind. Also tells you about uh, here's Lido, where it's plus minus 5% APR on Ethereum. Cardano staking here, where you get about 2.6% on uh, ADA. And uh, there's tons of them here. And you can sort it by TVL, for example. You can go to the really uh, low TVL, super degen ones that have probably insanely high APRs which are just uh, not worth doing. Don't even bother looking at that, in my opinion. But this is just to give you an idea of what they have and um, how convenient this platform is to use. So this is something, as I said earlier in the video, I use quite often, especially the shield. This is something I recommend everyone to try to um, prevent you from getting rugged. I mean, you can't be fully focused on searching for pro gains and not protect yourself in some way and this is at least one tool you should use to protect yourself so hopefully this video was of value to you guys uh, hopefully someone can prevent getting wrecked thanks to this video would be really pro uh, if you enjoyed it uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel always appreciate that join my telegram and follow my twitter for more alpha I always share uh, things across those channels and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time